Hey, how y'all doing out there today? Oh, been a few days since I got out here and done any videos. Been kind of laying back. Got a rest tank here and doing it myself and doing other things around here. But I think go ahead and do a chicken roundup. I kind of thought I'd uh, let you know what I've been doing around here. Today I processed uh, two roosters. That was in my flock, which you know I can't have roosters here in the city where I live at, so I hate to do it, but it had to be done. I finally got to try out my chicken plucker and all that stuff for the first time. I started doing it last week, uh, but I sure I didn't get it done. That thing's popped up, you know You know how it is, you know, at home and stuff. But uh, my uh, fodder is still growing and kind of not as good as I like it for it to do, but I turn this thing here. I got some fescue and I got some oats going right now. So I'm gonna turn this thing around and get off my ugly mug and uh, kind of tell you what I've been doing around here. Alrighty, one second. This is my fescue. I started right here. I got four of these 1020 trays. Another little tray here. I got. I don't know what, what them things are. I got them. I bought my greenhouse. Got some oats down there coming up. Got another tray right here. It's coming on, starting to germinate inside there. It's kind of weird. It goes around the edge around here first, then it fills the middle in. So, this is my chicken plugger. It's a kitchen there. And it worked like a charm. Like they uh, say, it takes about 20 seconds, and it has no feathers on a bird whatsoever. This is my scalding deal right here. I bought these little drums. I got off the internet, off Craigslist. Worked great, just about right. Here we have a little station here set up right here on my outside patio. Clean up, water going off the side out there. So, I got to use it for the first time. Got my work table over there. But, uh, yep. That's what I got done today. Yesterday I walked out on one of the greenhouse. I've been putting pictures on the Instagram under the rooster garden. Tell people about it. And, uh, let me get out here. It's great right here. I filled up that outside over here with a cement. I mean, center block raised bed was. I filled that under. Now it ain't nothing but a mud hole there. Now you see where the ducks stuff in through there with. A lot of rain come through last night. Earlier this morning, so it ain't help none. As you can see, I still got wall to wall chickens and ducks. And I got a bridge built right here. Not quite where we're gonna leave that yet, but hey, I like the six foot wide. It all goes across there, you know. Ducks don't stand there. Get inside there. <laughs> but we're in the greenhouse. It's coming along. I got the board to go across this right here. Get all that stuff tightened up. I'm gonna frame that with a one by four. In between here, three and a half inches on one by four, all the way down and going across. They can caulk in around each one of them and paint them. So, I turn back up this way. I see there ain't no garden up there yet. Still too early. But it won't be long. This right here is going to be, it's 8 by 12. A friend of mine, Mike, passed away. Give me these big house windows right here. These are a double set of windows. There's a single window there. And I've got, do that wall there. And that window right there, I got two of them like that. I'm gonna put back here, kind of in the center, like a French, French door, you know, opening right there. Uh, I'm planning to take be back there against that wall there. So, but once I get my rafters put in up here, I'd be able to judge that, see about what's gonna set it, frame it up. So, so I've been doing a little bit of work around here. Greenhouse still by like it is. 
Joe let me uh, duck the chicken come in here and kick out. It's kind of like a beach to them in here, you know. So. But it's not going to be long. And I'm going to run them out of here and get it cleaned up. Get all the stuff off the ground so I can start airing out. Being a heavy rain last night, the water came in that uh, you know, back door underneath it there. Ran in here again. So, they dust taking that clean water out of the tub there now. So, waiting on shipping the millworms to come in. So, they got mad this morning, I didn't have enough millworms to feed them all. So, but, oh well. They made it through the day, waiting on that FedEx truck. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This door here, I may put it in for a greenhouse door. But I don't know yet. All that rain comes through, like I said. Yeah, all this in here wet again. It just lob again. I turn the lights on back here. There we go. Now we see what's going on inside here. <clears throat> the little rabbits are still growing, getting bigger by the day. So um, I, I got to figure out about how they are right now. Mama rabbit's still doing all right, and Daddy rabbit and Trixie over here. Uh, where is she? Just on this side over there. I'm gonna try to breed her next. If she hadn't got too fat on me. Um, I don't see no more eggs back here. I've been getting about three duck eggs a day. They've been laying over in this over here. They interrupted them this morning. I had one egg. They dug down to the mud. And I come in and took that out. And they haven't been back in there yet. So, I ain't found that around the yard nowhere. Hey, I found a chicken egg over there, I think. And a hand sitting over in this corner over here. Let's see. Don't fall down here. Yep, I got a fed an egg. That makes number five today. A lot of my hands are still new. But they're laying kind of small eggs. But I do have a dozen great jumbo duck eggs. I got an 18 count of medium, you know, medium sized duck eggs in there. Still that mud stuck in here. I ain't got that water system figured out yet around here. We are buying gravel. Put this gravel so we can walk through here. I gotta figure out how much gravel is gonna go inside this right here. I got a deal on my phone that tells you how many yards it'll take. But uh, hopefully by tomorrow I'll have these rafters put up. I wanted to get it done today, but I twisted my back earlier and I've been laying around there half a day, so. But it's coming together a little at a time like always. But uh, this weather giving me a break, it was too cold and too wet. And, Y'all know how it is, about like everywhere. There's one of them hands right there to drive you up the wall. So, I just want to come out here and kind of give you a walk around and show you what's been going on, not going on around here so far. But uh, this bridge right here, we're probably going to put handrails on it on both sides. This area here where the ducks play, we're going to get some river rock and just kind of fill that in, make a little pond there. When they do come up here, they'll be able to get in there and play. But uh, eventually they're all going to be on the back side behind the greenhouse back there. When I start planting all this stuff up here. So it won't be long and we're going to get busy doing things. So, but anyways, oh, I got my drone fixed. I'm going to put a Look footage, you know, from the air I got today. My son-in-law got it fixed for me. I am tickled pink, so 
I got it up in there a while ago. I got a little bit of footage and a picture so y'all can see what it looks like around here from the bird's eye view. So, but I'll try to get back out here and do some more regular videos for you because I still like watching everybody's channel. I got a few that kind of tags along watching my stuff and so I'm just a city homesteader building from the ground up from a perfectly green backyard to what I've got now so far. My Muscovy ducks are being uh, the ship out the week of the 15th of next month. And I ordered me six weeder geese to run around and just eat weeds around. And I think they ship out sometime in April. So I don't know which ones I'm going to get to. I had to order in six on both of them. During my feet, didn't get the motor in any time. So, but anyways, I did what I could do. So, I'm going to try them all out, see what happens. But y'all come on back to the Rooster Garden and subscribe, tell your friends, share me, you know. If anybody's trying to do a city homestead and did my area and need some advice or whatever, tell them to look me up. I'll try to help them as much as I can. So, I'm still... Learn things every day from everybody out there and what I knew when I was a kid growing up out in White County, Arkansas. So, like I said, come on back, hit that thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, do whatever you think you, you, you can do. So, I'll try to get back with some more videos later on. I appreciate y'all a lot, every, each and every one of you. Take care, have fun, have a super day. Bye-bye.